Today is Valentine's Day, the 14th day of breaking my fast. Um, oh, I actually just, well, I just woke up because I took a nap. I actually uh, woke up really early last night. Um, I went to bed pretty late. Um, Andrew and I were just, Andrew was um, doing some work and I was writing in my journal. That's what I was doing. I was writing in my journal and listening, I listened to a meditation before I went to bed and I fell asleep listening to the meditation. So hopefully it's like in my subconscious mind. <laughs> um, but anyway, I went, to, I went to sleep listening to the meditation and then I woke up because I fell asleep with the headphones on. Um, and then I woke up, I think it was at three when that happened and we were, we've been waking up at 4.30. So I was like, oh man, it's three. <laughs> I have an hour and a half left. <laughs> So anyway, that happened, and Andrew also woke up around three because then he turned off the light because we fell asleep with the light on. We were both really tired. Um, yes, so then we woke up this morning at 4.30. We did our gratitude affirmations, our cards that we pull. Um, and then today, actually, Andrew uh, was scheduled to work at six in the morning. So we got that all ready, I helped him get ready, I got dressed really quickly, started the car, and drove him to work. And grabbed like everything he needed for his fast to be successful today. Um, so like his grape juice, his psyllium pudding, I put it all together for him and put it in a bag. He took care of the tinctures, which is nice because that for me is very tedious. <laughs> I don't really enjoy taking the tinctures out of the bottle and putting into a little bottle. Um, so it was nice that Andrew, he doesn't mind doing that at all, so he took care of that. And then um, I drove him and I came back home and I was like, oh yeah, I'll just rest for like a little bit so that I can read and I think I'll maybe go for a walk later. And so um, I rested starting at like 6 and now it's 11.15. <laughs> so. Clearly I was really tired because it's much later than I had anticipated it being. I was like, oh, I'll do like a two hour rest, you know, or something that way I have the whole day and I can read books and like be productive and do all this stuff. And I suppose my body was telling me, hey, Melissa, you actually need a little bit more rest than two hours. So I'm glad that I did that. It's actually looking really gorgeous outside. The sun is shining. I mean, it's a little chilly, but it's not so bad. This morning wasn't that bad at all. So I think what I'm gonna do is just brush my teeth because I just woke up. Um, I haven't even done that yet. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so I'm gonna brush my teeth and I think I wanna head out and take a nice walk because it's so beautiful out, the sun is shining. It's so bright in here. Like there's, there's no lights on except for like a salt lamp. There's no lights in the house on, so as you can see, it's like really bright here. It's so funny, I was also talking to Angie this morning, and um, I was saying it feels like spring is in the air. I don't know if anyone else can feel that, but I don't know. Like, for me, it's like, I feel like we might get some more cold, a little bit more cold, but there's just like, I don't know, the smell? And the, the feeling, and I was talking to Andrew, I was like, does that sound weird? Because for me, when the seasons start to change, I can feel like the energy shifting, I feel like, or just, just something. I don't know how to explain it, but it also feels like with the cold, there's not like that bitter bite to it where you're just like, oh, you know, it's like feeling more like, oh, okay, it's chilly outside, but I can handle this, this is okay. And that's always how it feels like when it's about to be turning into spring, at least for me. Um, but you know, the weather's been a little wonky so we might have a, a little bit of cold at some point. But I don't know, I feel it. I feel spring is in the air and I'm really excited because it's close to my birthday. I know it's like, I still have a few weeks but it's close to my birthday which is nice. And then spring will be here and then summer 
where we can wear shorts and like not such big coats and stuff. So I'm really excited. Um, anyway, so that's what's happening today. Um, and then after I come back from my walk, I will probably be a little bit hungry. So I think I'll um, have some more and I really have been wanting to eat some watermelon. Oh, I keep watching medical medium reposts and some of them are amazing. Like it's just insane because people have this fear of fruit and the sugar in fruit. And like that literally doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't because people are just like, oh no, sugar is bad for you. Don't eat sugar. If you have like diabetes or, I mean, I understand like processed sugar, that's completely different than a, a fruit. But um, there's just like so many people that I've met who they said that they couldn't eat sugar. Um, this little boy, I was, this someone posted their son, had severe eczema. Like, oh my gosh, it looked so painful. It was all over his face, all over like on the chin, like nose, basically everywhere except the eyeballs. Like he had eczema all over his face and apparently it was severe eczema since he was four months old. And um, the parents finally found the medical medium box and he started eating fruit and they just gave him watermelon. Apparently he ate watermelon for months and months and weeks and just kept eating watermelon and then he eats fruit and his face is totally clear now. It's insane, like, it's so amazing. It's just like, you know, when I read the medical medium books, I know, like, with the fasting, it's really, he has this great information. They've done such great information with the fasting and everything. But when I see, like, people eating the fruits and, like, potatoes and things like that, like, medical medium suggests, and they have such great results, I'm like, okay, well, maybe these things aren't as bad as a lot of other people say. Like there's just like a, there's so many people who are like, oh, what well, potatoes cause mucus and this causes mucus, but you know, there's other people who are getting really good results, you know, and eating a lot more fruit though. Like it's really the fruit that's helping, I think, with a lot of people and you know, I just, it's just really amazing to be able to see that, to see the great changes that are happening in people. Um, but anyway, on that note, I am going to go get my day started. Okay, so. I just got back from my walk and it was amazing. It's so beautiful out today. The sun was shining. I couldn't help but smile pretty much the whole walk because it was just wonderful out. And um, now I'm just a little bit hungry, so I cut up in a watermelon. It looks pretty good, um, but we'll see. Hopefully, it's not like super mushy. If it is mushy and I'm not liking it, I have two other watermelons and then I'll blend this up and maybe make popsicles out of them instead of eating it. Um, but we'll see. Hopefully it's good and I can just eat it and not be like, ugh, you know? So. All right, so my last meal of the day is the same salad I had yesterday. Well, the same fruit mix because it's just pet um, tomato, red bell pepper, cilantro, and green onions with some lime juice on top. Um, I'm really liking this this mix, um, and I am just going with it. Uh, there must be something that I'm getting from it because I feel satiated after I eat it, and I don't feel too full. Um, I did have a whole watermelon today, so that was good. Um, and I also did have a little bit of an emotional um, difficult moment today with Andrew um, but my rebound from that is way quicker than it's ever been in my entire life like the we had just like a a breakdown in our communication just because Andrew's really tired you know he's having like some things happen with him and I was having something happen with me and I just kind of <laughs> went bleh like it's <laughs> the best way to say it I had one of those blah moments, so. Um, but anyway, my rebound from that was way quicker than it's ever been in the past. Um, and it was just like a moment, and we talked it through, we got through it, and it was basically, I was having a little bit of anxiety. Um, Andrew and I are doing this workout 
we're following this workout routine and I was just feeling a little bit anxious about doing it and so I didn't really know how to express that in a way that was um, I just didn't really know how to express that um, to Andrew so instead I kind of got upset and Anyway, we worked it out. We ended up doing the exercise. It was actually really, really fun. I did forget, I did um, also drink some pomegranate juice. I finished that pomegranate juice that I opened up the other day. I didn't finish it the, from the Trader Joe's. It's the, I, was, I put it in the previous video, uh, but I finished that pomegranate juice. I had a whole like mini watermelon, the pomegranate juice, and now the salad. So that's all I ate today. Um, and then after this will be my, my after the salad, this tomato, chopped up tomato pepper salad thing. Um, that'll be my last thing that I have and I'll get ready for bed. If you like these videos, just give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe so you know what new videos are coming up. And also please leave comments. It'd be nice to hear from you if you have any questions. Until tomorrow, have a wonderful night.